I would like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and show how to tie a Christmas bell knot. I did this as a Christmas card probably in 1996 I believe and I haven't really tied any for a long time and this year my wife was wanting some so I was tying her some and I thought I would do a video. It takes about eight feet of lace and to make it easier to show on the video I'm using this Jig Pro Shop uh, Herbert uh, Perfect Mandrel. What I do is I start in the center of my lace so what I do is I just run this through and pull it till I can find the center and this <clears throat> is where I'm going to start my two free runs and it be started right here at this point <clears throat> and a year after I did my Christmas bell I had people who had trouble so I did a kind of a cheat sheet and this is going to be our first start. We come over from one to two, and then we go around to three. So that'll be to right there. So we come to here, then we go around the mandrel to pin number three. Then on half cycle three, we do an over. Go around the mandrel, go to pin number five, and there we do, and that's an over. Then pin number five, we do under over, under, over. Then we turn. And come down to pin number seven. Half cycle six is over two to pin number seven. Then we go up. And we're doing under or over, under, over. Under, over, under. And if you were following the grid diagram, uh, number eight is right there so in our cheat sheet i'm showing seven goes over under over around the tail and back to eight so we just come around to here so that we're on this side of our tail and number eight is over under two And it's that little triangle right there is where our lace is going to go. We go down here to nine. Number nine is over under two. Right there. I do that kind of left handed. But I'm trying to keep this in frame it'd be easier if I could move this around a little more but okay now we where we went under that little triangle we come to there and go over and then we MIB that's make inside bite and then we turn go over under two over under two and out over one to eleven. So there's pin eleven. And we go under over two. Under. Over two. Coming right up through here. There's one. There's two. 
and then we do an under one and then we go over two then SOB is skip one bite there is the bite that we're going to skip and then we go under two over two under over and that takes us to 13 line 13 is under around that pin first over under over under and over and that finished that now this over under is right here that would be shown right here at 13. We come up and then we come over under. And I have a few more cheat notes, but we didn't use them. It was explaining the outside bites. Okay. So right here was our over. And now we go over. Pull my string out. So there is our over under. Right here. Now I'm going to take my needle off, put it on the other end. Now, we're going to go over, under three, over two, under over. So right here is our over, and right there is our under three. Then over two, under over, and that takes us to pin 16. Checking my knot for straightness. It's easy to get these. That's pretty good. Okay, we're now we're on line 16, and it is over, under, over, under, all the way up. Over, under, over, under, over, under, over. I don't usually use pins, so they kind of get in my way sometimes. But with this video, it's easier for me to reference where we're at. So we're putting up with pins. Okay, on 17, we go over, under, over. Over, under, over, under two. Oh, yeah. Under two and over two. And to 18. And see, by having the pins, you can see we're going to have two paths down through this side and one path down through that side as of this pass we just did. Half cycle. Okay, we'll go around 18. And here... 18 is under 2, over 2, 
over to under over under over Nineteen is under over under under over under over under two and over two. And that gets us to twenty. Line 20 is over, under 2, over 2, under 1, and then over 1 all the way to the top. Let me pull this up and we'll take a look at it. I was looking at the monitor. Okay. So 20 is over, under 2, over 2, under, over, and I got a over 2, over 2, under, over, under, over, and then right here. See the strands coming out of our loop? So we go over, under, over, and under the tail. And there is a cheat right there showing that. And then it starts 21 coming back down. But let's pull this up. So now we're going over the end of our. best way to show this okay we went under now we're gonna go over under that one and over that one to get us through the loop that would be that over under over now we're going to go under two, right there, and then over two, under two, over two. So it's under two, over two, under two, over two, under one, over one. Right down through there. Trying to keep that right there. Okay. Now we go around number 22. 22 is over, under, over, under, over two, and then under, over, under, over, under, over, and then we make an inside bite okay make sure we're on just one pin we did an over under over two and then under over under, over, under, over, and see this right there is our over, and right here we're going to make an inside bite and go over and under two. So we're going to go over that one, 
and under that double. And we go over, under two, over two. So there's our over, under two, over two, and then under over. And now we go around number 24. And it's under, over, under, under, if I can get my under, under, over, under, let me pull that so it's around our pin. Okay, so we did our under, over, under, now we're going to go over two. And then it's under, over, under, over, under, and an over two at the top. So there's my over two, under, over, under. And as you can see, we were just splitting tracks there. Over, and see our under is right down underneath here right there so over under and out over two now we've got an SOB for skip one bite so there is our one bite that we're going to skip and we're going to come back in under, over, under, and you can see we're just splitting tracks clear to there. So it's under, over, under, over, under, over, and now we got our under two. And now we're going under two, over two, and then an under, over. Now we go around 26. 26 is under, over, under, over. Under two, split that pair. Over two, and now we're just splitting those tracks. See our tracks? So over two, catch that under. Over, under. Over, under. Now right here we got an over two. Right there. And then under that one. And that brings us back to our standing end. And we go over and next to it and under two. And the reason I like to go under two like that is maybe this table is that is a reference point for when I go to start pulling down this strand that's going over and under two was my last string. And in our diagram 
that would be right there. This is where our working in and standing in come together and it'd be over and under two. So if we start pulling down right there and come around, we pull down this second half of our knot. Okay. Now, I don't like to have these real long, so I'm going to pull this off of my mandrel, and then I'm going to tighten it down a little bit and show you how to finish the bell. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you'll try to tie one. Thank you for watching, and Merry Christmas.